Um, from the start, diagnostics played a vital part in the response to COVID. Over the past year, access to fast, accurate, and affordable diagnostics have helped to interrupt disease transmission and track the effectiveness of public health interventions. What COVID-19 has done is it, it has exposed sort of the impact of years of sort of neglect in testing for all diseases, um, with kind of diagnostics being one of the weakest links in the care cascade. And at the end of it, it is the, the people living in low and middle income countries that are disproportionately bearing the burden of this. Without diagnostics, we're flying blind. Without, you know, uh, appropriate diagnostic tools, devices, uh, therapeutic and vaccine, we cannot fight this. Um, I think what we've seen is that the real issue in, in many countries is the limited uh, testing capacity. And even when tests are there, they don't always get uh, used or optimally used. And even if they get used, they don't always get reported. Even if they're reported, the right treatments may not always be available for patients who need them. So this tells you that uh, this is not only an issue for COVID-19, uh, but really an issue that we start seeing in, in many other disease areas. We have learned a lot about the way different agencies can work together to solve problems in real time. Member states need to work together and have a coordinated response. And this is needed in order for us to increase our efficiency because our health resources are limited. And it's clear that the diagnostic industry has a, a, a responsibility, but also when you think about it, an opportunity uh, to engage in, in, in global health in a, in a more uh, active way. The community is the first point where the diagnostics should take place before with a, a very well-knit referral system for confirmation at the health facility and also enrollment into TRIPCO. Uh, so this testing nationalism and broken supply chain demonstrate the need uh, for change in manufacturing uh, toward a more focused, resilient, effective approach and based on, on, on solidarity and also with uh, the objective of making sure that countries can help themselves. We need to strengthen the global partnership to encourage and leverage locally developed innovations and facilitate technology transfer for strengthening global supply COVID-19 diagnostic and be prepared for the future pandemic by leveraging and building manufacturing capacity in, in member countries and of course in least developing countries. I really see uh, a, an important role for FIND to play across this value chain, across the ecosystem to ensure that we have better, more innovative, cheaper, more widely available diagnostic tools. So we need a comprehensive, fully funded strategy for diagnostic testing. This is the moment to build bridges to involve all stakeholders in, in the discussion. And urge all governments and partners to invest in diagnostics as a critical component of health. Working together, we can build a healthier, more resilient world.